are going to take a closer look tonight at one of the hottest theological battles among evangelicals right now. Global warming, of all things. This week, a new front in that war opened up, a kind of climate coup. This fight is pitting one generation of Christians against another. The question of how to protect God's creation is increasingly dividing some of his followers. It is a distinctively Southern Baptist uh, document. That the latest salvo came this week from 25-year-old seminary student Jonathan Merritt, who got prominent Southern Baptists to sign this declaration saying their denomination has been too timid on global warming and risks looking uncaring, reckless, and ill-informed. We as humans have a uh, responsibility to address these things because Scripture clearly commands us to do so. Merrick got some big-name signatures, including the current president of the Southern Baptist Convention and two past presidents, one of them his father James, a megachurch pastor who now drives a hybrid car. Anybody that knows me, first of all, knows that I'm anything but a leftist fringe. Um, uh, I'm probably to the right of Ronald Reagan. But James Merritt is the exception among his generation. Many old guard evangelicals see some efforts to stop global warming as a direct challenge to Christian principles. A major component of global warming uh, is to reduce population. Because people are seen as part of the problem. And of course, population control uh, includes uh, abortion. It also includes uh, same-sex relations because uh, they do not uh, cause uh, offspring. In a book, Tony Perkins even argues that if the storms and droughts predicted by climate scientists do come about, Christians should see them as a sign of the second coming. Where people People are told and taught to, to look inwardly and making sure that they are spiritually prepared to meet the end times, not that they're to you know, throw away the keys to their suburban and jump on Al Gore's bandwagon. Many climate scientists worry evangelicals like Perkins are helping global warming skeptics, often funded by the oil and coal industry, to cloud public awareness of the dangers of man-made global warming. They look to Jonathan Merritt and the next generation of evangelicals with optimism. I think that you can be pro-life. I think that you can be pro-marriage. Uh, and I think you can be pro-environment. I don't think those things are mutually exclusive. Jonathan Merritt and his peers have their work cut out for them. Last June, the Southern Baptist passed a resolution challenging the broad scientific understanding that man-made global warming is real and potentially very dangerous. Hi. I, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to... Uh do something sometime. Sure, Chris. I have a Young Republicans meeting after school. You want to come? Oh, sure. Well, what do you do at a Young Republicans meeting? We help those who already have the means to help themselves. Also, we perpetuate the ideal that Jesus chose America to destroy non-believers and brown people. I don't understand what you're saying, but somehow I feel safer.